Hey everybody, welcome back for another Ever Crisis video. Uh, today I want to go over uh, one of what I consider one of the most important aspects of the game, uh, and that is Materia Synthesis. So, if you're brand new to the game, you don't know Materia Synthesis is how you're going to basically add a lot of extra stats to your characters, um, and also give you uh, elements that you may not have, abilities to cure, remove buff, uh, buffs or debuffs on enemies, and all, all kinds of stuff um, throughout the game. So it's a little, it's a little, uh, crazy the way synthesis is set up. There's a lot of RNG, so don't get, like, too discouraged from it or anything like that. Um, because it will take time. So to give you an idea, this is my, this is my main account here, um, since day one. And, oops, there we go. And, as you can see, I've, so far since day one, I've made six five stars. That's it. Six five stars. I have a bunch of four stars in here that I've made. Um, and I'm now at the point where I'm only going to allow five stars on my account, essentially. But I've, I, uh, it took a long time to get here. But even then, I, I should probably lock this one. I've only gotten this, this many, I've only gotten six five stars. Luckily, all the five stars I've gotten have been fantastic. There's, I don't have a single terrible one in, sen in the sense of they all have some kind of decent value that they bring for what they are. So that's been really nice for me. But um, I want to go over, this is especially for new people, how uh, material synthesis works uh, and then what I, my recommendations are on how you should focus on material synthesis, how you should make things and whatnot. So to start off, uh, to unlock material synthesis, you're going to need to go through the story. Um, again, that's what I recommend for all newer players. Get through the story as much as you can all the way up until you unlock summons because from there, there's not as much to unlock story-wise as far as content. But synthesis is one of the fastest, most probably one of the most important things you want to unlock and it does take a little bit to get to it. So the faster you can get to this, the better. Um, once you come in here at the beginning of the game, you'll have only two slots of synthesis available. You don't necessarily have to do three. Um... But so, but I, I, you can go up to three, I would say, early on, but you won't have the materials to really pump these out like crazy right away. So if you want to stick to three and then maybe slowly bump up to four and then five, that's totally fine. Um, especially if you're brand new, you're, you're going to want to figure out how this works. So to break down materia synthesis, basically everything's based on RNG. It uses materials over here uh, as your base of uh, way to make things. So when you first start out, you're not going to make, make, uh, you're not going to be able to make all these things here. Some of them you'll have, some of them you won't, and you'll unlock them primarily through going and clearing the crisis dungeons here. So a lot of these crisis dungeons you'll see, if we if we look through some of them, you'll see here they have, uh, let's see, let's check this one here. Uh, so you'll see like right here, uh, I can't select it, but it has a book for materia that you can make. A lot of them will end up having one or two. So you want to come through and clear these as you're able to, to unlock more materia. The more materia you're able to make, again, the more versatile your parties can start to be and the more content you'll be able to clear. And that's really important. So back to the synthesis here. You're gonna have all your different elements. It's gonna it's gonna essentially organize them by element here for the most part, so they're pretty easy and you'll kind of learn the elements. If it's a magic, uh, magic material you're gonna make, it's gonna be a green material. If it's a physical one, it's gonna use this one here, the yellow. So you gotta keep in mind that, that physical material utilizes your physical attack for the damage, that's that's what's going to be using uh, whatever that whatever your stat is for that. Whereas magic's going to use your magic attack. So so far, there aren't any that specifically don't uh, apply any. Then you're going to have ones that cure here. So and they, usually the cure ones are going to use multiple types of materia. So that one uses all three. Um, this one here, the healing uses an ice. And then you'll have ones for fatigue and fog. These ones are Isunas. They don't heal as well, but they're going to be able to get rid of status effects. They also only cost three ATB, whereas the Cure and the Cura, once you upgrade it, will cost five, but it's going to give you a much higher Cure. So that's kind of the trade-off there. So to kind of start off with is how this stuff works is when you go to make a materia, it's going to tell you all this information here, right? It's a little confusing. So the first off is the recipe. If you have the recipe, great, it's there. If you don't have the recipe, it doesn't matter, right? So you can, you, if you turn the recipes off, you'll see some in here we don't actually have yet. So healing darkness, silence, uh, bio, which is will be an offensive one to poison enemies. And then we have some of these breach materials, which we can't get yet. So you'll, you'll be able to get those later, but usually just leave the recipes on and then your repertoire will grow as you continue to complete content. So as you look over here, you're going to see on the left side, you're going to see the required materials. So this one is going to require a void ore, 
as well as magic chip and it's going to be three of each so you'll see three of each as you look at different materia they're going to have different requirements so you'll get this material these uh these different uh materials mats if you will in different parts of the game and you'll kind of at points you probably will need to farm some of them up because you'll even see here I'm actually kind of low on arrow, uh, which is a wind ore. I'm super low because I spent about a month and a half trying to get a good arrow blow four star. It took me about a month and a half to get one with a physical attack percentage. And we'll get into the, the stats there, but that, that was really important for that weapon, because that materia, because I didn't have one, and I don't have a really strong wind uh, weapon for a lot of my characters that's physical. So I was like, well, this is the next best thing. And this is where materia kind of makes up for that. So when you decide of a materia you want to pick, so let's just say let's just do uh, let's do one I'm gonna be I've been working on right now is which is my blizzard it's a it's a magical ice move you're gonna see the material here and the materials and then you're gonna have a time down here what this time means is that is the base average time to get a three star rarity materia anything below lower than it has can still be a three star anything up higher than it can still be a three star but as you get to certain increments it'll then drop to either say two star or one star or go up to a four or even a five star the higher uh the higher the time when you make it because you're going to get a timer and i'll show you here the higher your time that means the greater the rarity so if you say if this is your base time which is an that's two and a half hours 150 minutes if you get right at about 230 or give or take 20 minutes you're probably going to get a three star no matter what if you go about an hour above that time you're probably going to get around a four star and if you go about another two hours above that time you're going to be looking at probably around a five star same thing applies if you go further down ended up being with a two star or a one star if it's a really short time and and if you check down below in the comments or sorry not the comments if you look at the uh down in the description i'm going to have a image down there that you guys can download um that'll d detail every single materia and and what each time will guarantee the rarity or in between rarities which can be either or, but it does favor the lower rarity when that does happen. So don't expect to, when you get like an in-between time, don't expect to get the higher rarity because it's not common. So when you make materia, you can either just synthesize it as it is, or you can add materials. Almost every single time, once you get probably past day two, to be honest, you're going to want to start adding materials for every materia. So you're going to see this screen here. And you're going to have a five star, four star, and a three star materia mat. So as I increase these materia mats that I'm going to use, you'll see the synthesis level here increase. Now what this does is it can go up to a maximum of a three star guarantee, right? So with the materials I have here, I need one of these five stars, which I'm out of right now. I don't have any because they are very rare to come across. So I'm not able to maximize and get up to synthesis level five. Whenever you have a material that you specifically really, really, really want to make, that's like you need it bad, I would say if you have the materials, make it synthesis level 5, which is maximum. What this does is it guarantees you're going to get a 3-star material no matter what, but it's also going to increase your chance of getting a 4-star or even a 5-star material. So you want to actually, anytime you make these uh, material, you want to try and get the highest guaranteed rate that you can, with the materials uh, that are available to you. So for instance, right now, I'm focusing hard on trying to get a, a, four, a good four-star blizzard material that has a pretty high magic attack percentage, right? So I'm gonna do, there, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna hit sit right at material synthesis level four. So that's gonna require these, these small ones here in three of the four-star. What I recommend doing for everybody is use the these ones here because they're the easiest to get. So use them here and then then add up the the four uh, the fourth rarity here until you get to like you know, you stop. You don't want to go any higher because if you go higher, you're not getting any higher chance of rarity. So early on in the game, you're probably only going to be able to afford to say do level synthesis two, and that's fine, right? I, I personally, if you're really low, like under a hundred. I don't usually recommend going to seven. Yeah, you could do get a little higher, a tiny bit higher chance, but at the cost of five of these, when these are already going to be very, very valuable early on, I say er, for brand new players starting at two, that's totally fine. Guarantee that two star, which is much better than the one star. You want to like just avoid one stars like the plague because they're terrible, um, and and that's gonna like help you start getting better things a little bit earlier. I have a separate account. I'm doing the same thing. I don't have very many of these materials. So when I do craft, I'm only going two. I could go to seven on many of these, um, but I'm going to run out really fast. And I don't I don't want to run out because then I'm going to have to start making one stars probably. And I, I don't want that. So 
for this material here, I'm going to go ahead and do 10 there. I'm going to go three here, level four, and then you're going to hit add. And then from here, it's going to show you level four here. And, and it's going to have a two star plus guaranteed. So it's only two star. Very rarely you're going to get the plus. So and then also right down here, it's going to say substat times three guaranteed. What this means is when the material is done being made, it's going to guarantee you're going to be able to see three of the substats that that material can have. It could be attack, physical, uh, any of the attack, defenses, HP and heal. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like here. So we're going to go ahead and use it. It confirms what materials I'm going to use. I'm going to hit synthesis. And as you can see here, I got two hours and three minutes. So I'm, chances are that's that's about an in-between time period. That's probably going to either be a two or a three star. No guarantee. But that's what you, that's pretty much the, how it works, right? So I'm going to come. And this is the one material I've been trying to make. I'm, I want to get a good, trying to get a good four star with a magic attack percentage. So I'm going to go ahead and pump some more of these out. This one here, really see that timer? See how it's like an almost an hour lower than that middle time of out two and a half? That means it's going to probably end up being a two star. So this one's going to end up just being food for the rest of them. Even this blizzard here for, from this main account is going to be food. So you want to get those long timers. The longer the timer is, the greater your chance of a of a more rare materia. And rare materia not only deals more damage, but the substats that we were just talking about also have a higher number uh, percentage that it can go up to. And I'll show you what I'm referring to here. So let's just take a look here and give you an idea. So substats here, as you can see right here, let's look at a good one. <laughs> that one that one only rolled physical attack, which is what I need. The rest of it was kind of poopy. But if we look here at the Quake era, here's all the different substats. I rolled really, really good substats here. I got a solid HP percentage. I got a really high physical defense, which is this is the only way in the game outside of our abilities to get uh, defensive stats. So this is where materia is really important. Right, and that can make or break a certain fights if you're struggling with them is focusing on that defensive option. It has really strong physical attack and a, yeah, it's an okay magic attack. So this is a magic attacking move, but even though the magic attack isn't really high, I can throw this on a physical attacker if I don't even need to use Quake, if I have an open slot for materia that I really don't need and go, hey, this thing gives me great physical defense. It gives me great HP and really good physical attack. This is a great great material to throw on a character for that does physical attack like cloud or tifa or someone like that right um and then same thing like this one i just got here healing isuna i just got this the other day it's my most recent one physical attack 7.5 the highest i think i've seen this go up to is about 12 percent, which is extremely high um so the higher the rarity the higher the numbers go here so if you look all my five stars are pretty they're pretty up there right they're around five percent if not higher on a lot of these different stats now, if I get down into the four percent, or the sorry, the four stars, you'll start seeing the 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 numbers aren't going to be quite as high. Every once in a while, you can still get ones that are really high, right? So this one's got really high physical attack. This one's got really high magic attack. But you'll see the numbers, the percentages, they don't they do they start to dwindle off a little bit. And some of these ruin res, I recently just made them. These were made with a maximum level, so um, they do. I did get a bunch of them here. So, but they are good stat sticks, and there's nothing wrong with having that. So, and then as you go down into, say, the three stars, which are some of these more recent ones I've made or, or, or using, I'm not even using this one, but I need to make them, you'll see these percentages, they start dropping, right? They're in the 2%. You might see a 3%. Lucky, you'll be lucky if you get a 4%. And then as you level materia up, your these uh, the, the stats will randomly increase. There's no guarantee on what you can get. So sometimes I can have them and it can just completely stack something like a terrible percentage on something that I don't need, right? So for instance, like, let, let's see if I can find you one here. Um, yeah, so like like some of them, they just don't give me very good. I, I just, this is the arrow blow I was re recently referring to. Um, yeah, so like, uh, I'm trying to find you one because I usually get rid of ones that I, I don't need or won't use. So here's a perfect example, right? So if Thunder Arrow Blow, I ended up rolling, it ended up getting a lot of stats into a flat heal, heal stat, which you don't want flat stats. Flat stats are the worst. You want to aim for percentages. Percentages make a bigger difference. But see how it's got more magic attack than it does physical? And this is a physical materia. So that's just how it rolled as I was leveling up. There's nothing you can do about it in the game as of right now. That's just the way it is. Right, so when you make synthesis, when you synthesize materia, uh, again, that's what I recommend doing is find the materia that that you need to work with or ones that you're missing. Right, so I, I what I did to find out, okay, 
let's see. I was going through my different elements. Okay, here's my here's my Blazera, right? I have three four-star Blazera right now. I'm like, okay, so I need one. I want I, now my goal is okay. I want two of them with a matching attack percentage, right? So I here's one with one magic attack percentage, not very high. It's only 3.2, and then here's one no magic attack percentage, and here's another one no magic attack percentage. So that's kind of my goal now is I'm going to be focusing on this Blizzara to get a good magic attack percentage. And then afterwards, I'm actually going to go over to Blizzard Blizzara Blow because again, I don't have one with, I don't have two with a good physical attack percentage. So I'm kind of creating like, I, I basically create a goal when I do my synthesis that way I can know what to focus on and, and then kind of progress, right? It's a slow progression and that's just how, how synthesis is. And you just have to accept it, right? It's not quick. Uh, maybe later on in the game, they'll give us an option to reroll stats using materials, and every reroll maybe increases the amount of materials. I think that'd be a great idea and a good way to get rid of stuff. Um, that would be kind of nice. But yeah, so focus on the material that you don't have first off, foremost, at least at level two. You know, get one of each, and then may or maybe get two of each. Then start focusing on. Okay, now I want to get three star of that material. Okay, now I want to get a four star of each material. You know, kind of do it like that, so that way you cover your bases. And because the game is designed around always having options available, because you never know what content's going to be up next, especially for events. So you always want to be ready for that. So by making a plethora of different materia, you're always going to have those options available. Um, these ones are some of the better ones you're going to want to get as well. The ruins, they make, they're very, very quick. A five star only takes, guaranteed five stars, only about an hour and five minutes. So even if you're just trying to pump these out, they, they go really, really, really fast, right? So to give you an idea, these ones, uh, I don't think I even have them for this. Nope, I'm out of the nights. <laughs> so some of them you're, you'll just end up running out of, right? So I just pumped out a ton of these X ones. I was trying to get a, I was trying to get a five star out of, actually out of it. And I, I unfortunately didn't. I pumped out a ton of them, probably about 40 or 50. That's where you saw all those four stars come from, was because I had maximum level, level max guaranteed level three, synthesis level five, and I could not get a five star. I tried and tried and tried, and that's just how it works. Sometimes you'll get a five star just because and other times you don't you know and i have i have a friend who's who synthesized maybe a thousand times he's got like 10 five stars i've done over i've done what almost five thousand i think at this point uh let's see how many synthesis have i done uh where's it at there you go so i've done five thousand almost almost five thousand three hundred synthesis i've only made six five stars so that kind of can give you an idea of what to do so hopefully this helps you guys uh, understand how synthesis works, how to focus on it. And, you know, it's going to start making all your material get that much stronger. Um, and, you know, it's going to help out with all your fights. So um, thank you guys for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you are, have not done so yet. Leave a comment uh, down below if you have any questions or anything to add to this. Thank you for watching. Keep rocking. And I'll see you next time. Peace.